cabled. So today we will talk about the soul sovereign identities as usual. So if you have seen my previous video, um, we talk about the DID house and how uh, uh, how it's different. So how the uh, it's differ from, for example, Web3 login and from all solutions like Spruce ID have login with wallet, login with Ethereum. So we know that they have some benefits. So we know that uh, Affinity SDK have the uh, embedded module that allows you to build a DID house out of the box. So if you uh, have a need to have the SSI agent that um, wants to check that uh, DIDs belongs to you, and um, you could build the security protocol to your services, to your agents, and uh, you will for sure <coughs> uh, will get the confirmation that a person owned the DID. For example, how it's used in our core services. Uh, we have a full encrypted uh, storage for VCs, so you prove fast that your DID is your DID, then you will get all the VCs for your DID. But as far as it's a full encrypted uh, on H, it's mean that even if somebody will uh, break this security, uh, he will need uh, uh, your uh, private key to encrypt the VCs. Uh, we have the same stuff for messages. We have the same stuff for the revocation list for the issuers. So every time you confirm that you are the owner of your DID and it's working perfectly fine. Uh, what we want to have if, uh, for example, uh, we want to have something more complex. I was thinking about this. So if we need to transfer not only the DID ownership, but some kind of claims that uh, you get from service, uh, we could design this protocol. But we don't need to design it from scratch because in this protocol <coughs> already existing is the classical verifier flow. So it's the exchange protocol where at the end you share the BP. So all that you need to do is just uh, share a VP, but only one tiny thing that um, uh, you should somehow trigger the process. So you should go to the verifier, trigger the verifier, ask him to give you the challenge uh, with some particular type of the VC. So probably the VCs of the claim uh, that uh, give you the access to the resources and then you will give the VP and this protocol will work perfectly fine. What's the biggest challenges of the DAD house and um, this uh, VP based protocols is adoption. Adoption is the problem. <coughs> because it's completely new to the people. It's um, uh, extremely flexible, but new, and everything new will take time to adopt and uh, spawn. So uh, that's why I'm very happy that uh, uh, OpenID uh, protocol uh, already have something called uh, self-issued uh, OpenID uh, provider. So it's the OpenID stack that allows you in a sovereign way, issue the claims uh, on behalf of you. And uh, on top of the COP, you could uh, create the DID house and you could create a lot of interesting uh, things. Uh, it's uh, recently uh, arrived a couple of specifications uh, like uh, uh, OpenID for uh, VC and OpenID for VP. And actually it's allow you to uh, talk with the reliant party, with the verifiable presentation, and everybody will understand verifiable presentation. That's why I'm so happy that, uh, uh, you know, to make the adoption curve smoother, you right now could use the open ID. I will share the links to the specifications that are important. And uh, if you need some super matured uh, DAD house protocol, it will be based on VP. So that's all that I was keen to share with you. Subscribe to my channel, ask the questions, share this video, and I will be happy to talk with you if you're doing something in a self-sovereign identity space. Choose.